Hi, and welcome back to another video with It's Dr. Dan. And what today we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to show how to go from a ketose, uh, from a Fisher projection of a ketose to a Hayworth projection, meaning that we have a ketone in that structure. So in my last video, I talked about going through how to go from Fisher to Hayworth, but I wanted to try to do a quick one just to give you that summary because it's a little bit of a harder one. So the first thing what we're going to do, we're going to write down that Fisher projection. So when we have that fixture projection, how to draw fructose as a Hayworth, the first thing that we're going to go through is number our chain. So this is our official numbering. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. However, the thing that's going to be reacting is going to be our last chiral OH. So on here, we have our last chiral carbon. So our last member of our ring structure is going to be this O here. And what that's going to make is the ether in it. So let's highlight in blue all the members of our ring structure. So the alcohol is going to be reacting with the aldehyde in this structure. Okay. So these are going to be our members. So if we count the blue parts, right, we, if we start at that ketone, that's number one. So this can be the ketone, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, and then the last alcohol. So we have five members in our structure. So when we have five, we're gonna be drawing the house shape, which is like the one here. Now, when we draw that shape, so we're going to be the first, before we get to that, we have to be able to determine what all of our pieces are. Where are they gonna be located? Are they up or down? So we're gonna draw this 90 degrees to the right, so we're gonna redraw our fructose. So we have that C double bond O. Notice how it's pointing down to help indicate where the bottom is. So we have that CH2OH. I think I'm just gonna shorten this a little bit. So CH2OH on both sides. And now we're gonna illustrate the chiral carbons with our crosses. So when H OH, OH on that right side, which is now the new bottom. Then we draw the opposite on top. So this is gonna be the bottom of our ring. Now keep in mind, this is gonna be number one, two, three, four, and five of our house shape. Being that originally this structure is a defructose that means that you know, on our house that we're gonna draw, the CH2OH is going to be pointing up, okay? So whenever it is D, CH2OH points up. If it was L, CH2OH points down. So with that, let's draw our basic house. So we're gonna take that structure. It's gonna look something like this, right? The O is gonna be right in the middle just like so. And like we said earlier, we can put in all of our pieces. So we said the CH2, oops, we can say that the CH2 is gonna be pointing up. And here, why don't we show that in red just to help us illustrate where all these things are. So we have CH2OH, that's pointing upwards. Now keep in mind both anamaric uh, versions of this exist. So we're going to first draw it where the OH is pointing up like so. Now the rest of the pieces we're going to copy down. So we had all of our carbons, right? So this is one, then we have two, three, four, five. This is going to be one, or sorry, this is going to not be one. Actually, I made a mistake. So let's erase this and fix that, right? Because we have this value over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got to put in here that we have an o a CH2OH pointing down. And then our other OH pointing up. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have all the carbons represented. Now on carbon three, we had the OH pointing up, 
hydrogen down. On carbon four, we have the OH pointing down, the hydrogen up. And then on carbon five, we had our CH2OH pointing up, and then our hydrogen is pointing down. So this is one structure, and we'll bold in the bottom just to give it that little bit more of that Hayworth look to it, so it boldens it a little. So that is the beta representation. So this is beta D fructose. And we'll kind of clean that up a little. So this is beta D fructose. Now for alpha D fructose, it's going to be very, very similar. So alpha D fructose, we're going to take the same structure. The only thing we're going to be changing is now the OH is going to be pointing down and the CH2OH is going to be pointing up. So we're switching the anomeric carbon around. So we can see we have that OH pointing down. And now we'll put the rest of the chain in. So we have the rest of that ring. And it's really easy if you just remember what which one of those basic shapes. Is it going to be a hexagon or is it going to be a house or a five member ring? Because it allows you to just quickly uh, write those down for when you're doing uh, exams or doing quizzes or, or whatever, whatever it is that your professors might have you doing. Okay. So we draw that structure. We put the H's in, the OH's in, and the H, they all stay the same. The only thing that is changing is where our anomeric carbon is pointing. So we have the anomers of each other. So we have the alpha and then the beta representation here. They're both being drawn. So and that's how you can go through and draw fructose um, between these two different versions. So I hope this video helped you with a ketone or a ketose. So these are going to make five member rings. If it started with an aldose, it would be six member. So you can see an example of that in my other video. All right. I hope you had and hope to see you again in the future. Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more introductory organic and uh, biochemistry help. All right. Bye now.